Today we're going to talk about the December pick for the Sarah Desen Book Club, and that book is Lock and Key. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about Lock and Key and figure out how awesome it is. for the Sarah Destin Book Club was Lock and Key. Now you guys picked this one. There is a Sarah Destin's Goodreads page, which I will link down below, where I do a poll every month and you guys voted for this one to win. And let me just say, I am so happy it won. One of the main reasons why I started this book club is because I know I love a lot of Sarah Destin books, but I forget if I've loved them because it's been so long since I've read it. And I thought I loved this one and I'm glad to say that I do and it might be my favorite. I don't know. I keep saying that about everyone I read. But I really love this one. As first, I'm going to give like a non-spoilery section and I'll let you know when I'm going to spoil it. So this book is all about our main character, Ruby. Now, Ruby lives with her mom who is an alcoholic, a drug maybe. She's just got a lot of problems. Ruby used to live with her sister, Cora, but then Cora went off to college and she hasn't talked much to her since. But Ruby's mom continually disappears a lot for time and time and Ruby's mom disappeared for the last time for like months on end. And she was living alone in this awful apartment and she was struggling to meet rent and still go to school and it was just horrible and then social services finally catches her and she gets sent to live with her sister Cora and her husband Jamie. Now fun fact I previously filmed this video last week but I actually deleted the footage so who knows what I'm gonna say in this one because I feel like I, for I had to say everything that I already said. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I love this book. I really love that this book was mainly about family. With every Sarah Dessen book I think there's like a different meaning, a different definition behind it if that makes sense like I felt like this lullaby was more about love and the acceptance of love and all that kind of stuff and truth about forever was accepting your past and being okay with a family death and then um what's the other one that we read just listen was finally like speaking your truth and like you know telling the right thing and then lock and key was mainly about family and i gotta say lock and key is one of my favorites because i felt like the love in this series in this book took a back seat to the main storyline which i enjoyed our main love guy is nate who is her next door neighbor and he's a very very nice awesome guy like all the guys in sarah Dustin's book like i would love to meet any of them any day <laughs> but i love nate and i love the relationship that him and ruby have but i loved how it kind of took a back seat to the overall plot of this book like the it was mainly about family and I loved that I loved Ruby's and Cora's relationship how it was kind of tense at first but it overall it got so much better because they're sisters and overall through this whole book when Ruby goes to her new school and her new class she gets an assignment to like everyone else that they have a word that they have to define and they take all their time to define it what does she get she gets family and so this whole book is about family. I definitely say if you have not read this book definitely pick it up. Like if you are thinking about picking up a Sarah Dessen novel I say this one is a great one to start with so definitely pick it up. Now on to the spoilery parts. Like I said I loved Ruby and Cora's relationship. We all we wanted to know why they didn't talk for a while because if we saw in flashbacks that Cora was very protective of Ruby and she fought for her and then she kind of just disappeared and I for one was like why'd she disappear? And we learned that Ruby's mom has kind of intercepted um, the relationship between Cora and Ruby because Cora would try to contact Ruby, Ruby's mom wouldn't allow it, and all that kind of stuff. It was just a really horrible, like, their mom was not was not a great mom and it's sad to say there are a lot of moms a lot of parents out there like that that have those problems and that's awful but I think this book brings the reality of it that there is other family members out there that could help you and I really love watching that I loved Jamie Jamie was an awesome husband he reminded me so much of my husband in a way because he was all about Christmas and helping people and giving and that's I think that's a lot like my husband so I really loved I love Jamie I thought he was just he accepted Ruby with open arms he cared for her he thought she was awesome and Roscoe the dog oh how adorable was he was he got so scared when the ovens turned on I'm Nate let's talk about the love interest I loved how it took them a very long time to get together like they were friends for a while and Ruby finally you know learned that she has to accept family's help and accept other people's helps and not rely on herself constantly because that's what she does about this book it's just it's all about relying on herself she can't trust anyone Anybody. but she's kind of not jaded in the way as Remy was in this lullaby so I don't know I loved how her and Nate got together and I loved how she helped Nate with his problems like 
Nate, what a great character be, to be going through that stuff with his dad. Like, it was terrible. It was beyond terrible. Like, ugh, I, I feel so bad for Nate, but I feel so happy that he got help, that he get out of that situation. I really loved that. For, um, the other character in this book, I loved Harriet when she worked in the, the key necklaces. I loved that. I loved her friend that she met in school. Her name wasn't Lainey. That was her cousin. What was that girl's name? And then Jar Jarvis, Jarvis, whatever his name was, super cute. It's been like two weeks since I've read this, so forgive me if my memory's a little bit foggy, but I'm gonna keep this review very short. I loved this book. Like, this book is up there top favorites with Just Listen. These two might be my ultimate favorites, is Lock and Key and Just Listen. Now, for all, I'm gonna give this book a five out of five. I freaking loved it. Like I said, it was just awesome. There is a poll going on right now for the January pick for Sarah Dessen book, and I think the book that's winning right now is Along for the Ride. I think so definitely I will leave the link below if you want to go and vote for that definitely just join this book club it's awesome to talk about we use the Twitter hashtag there is book club we use it on Instagram we use it on Tumblr we use it on Goodreads it's just awesome to talk to you guys about it and fall in love with Sarah's and all over again with you guys so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this book if you have read this book please let's talk about it thank you for watching I will see you guys next time have a great rest of your week bye